My name is DJ Infantry, and I am Legally Blind. My passion for the outdoors has taken me to some amazing places, and I have done some incredible things, all with one mission in mind, to inspire you to get outdoors. Welcome to Infantry Outdoors. Hello everybody and welcome to this episode of Infantry Outdoors. Yours truly, your favorite disabled DJ, I'm DJ Infantry, welcoming you to this week's program. And I hope that wherever you are around the world, you're having an amazing day. On today's program, we've got a fun and exciting project and lined up for you guys. It's something I, I started doing yesterday uh, and we're going to continue on into today. Now, for those who don't follow me on Instagram or Facebook or other social medias, be sure to follow us across all social media. Um, I posted yesterday what I was doing, got a lot of positive feedback, gave a preview of it in the live stream, which by the way, we live stream every Friday from 10 p.m. to you say when on Facebook Live and YouTube. So with two platforms, there's no reason you can't tune in. So getting into today's episode, which is sponsored by our friends at Silver Connections Group for all of your multimedia needs. And of course, our friends at Water Purification Products, link down below for you guys to check out. Uh, be sure to use promo code INFANTRY with both businesses and you'll unlock additional savings when you use our name. So, here's what we're doing today, guys. As you know, I've been doing the squirrel hunting and I've been using my Gamo pellet rifle, right? So as you can see against me, it really does stand out. So what I wanted to do was camo my rifle. Um, what I did do yesterday, was I camoed one of my other gamos and I think it came out really good what do you guys think leave comments below all right all I did is I went to the store and I bought some spray paint and I got creative you know there's still blacks in here there's still browns now it patterns better with what the environment is so today we're gonna take this gamo and make it look like this one so the first thing that we're gonna do is Gonna take off our Commander NV100, set that to the side. And I wanna set this out of the range of anything in my work area because anything here can get paint on it. Very next thing, you're gonna want some blue painter's tape or some kind of painter's tape, and we're gonna tape off everything we don't want to spray paint. Um, for example, your rifle scope lens, your, uh, in my case, my magazine for my pellets. So we're going to take a piece of tape. Now I'm going to leave the mag in and just tape over the mag because this part, as far as I'm concerned, can stay black. So just simply go like that, cover it up so that you don't get paint on anything that you don't want to get paint on. Now what I do for the rifle scope is I simply take a piece of tape and cover the front of it. And in my case, I'm gonna need two pieces of tape. Now don't fold it over, just get it to stick on the rim. Okay, just like that. I'm gonna do the same thing to the other side. Okay. Okay, so there you have it, taped in the front, taped in the back, pretty much all I want to 
not get painted at this point. So now we're going to put our rifle down here and we're gonna get to painting. So the first thing I started with on the other rifle is khaki, a lighter color because this is a black rifle. Obviously, I'm gonna start with a lighter color being khaki in this case because I'm painting on a black rifle. Now, I want these other darker colors to stand out as well. So we're gonna coat most of this rifle in the khaki color. But remember that I do also want some of the black to shine through too as well. So we're, you know, it's kind of one of those things where you just, what I did, okay, uh, and you guys at home, everybody's gonna have their own preference. I'm probably gonna get killed in the comments. This is my second rifle ever doing this. Keep that in mind. So I kind of just went like this. All the way up and down the rifle. And then getting a little closer in some areas, getting farther. But for this, like, really doesn't have to be perfect in my opinion, because this is our base layer, our start with layer. Everything is going to get painted on top of this. So, like I said, if some black shines through, that's okay. Um, you can use that, you can add to that if you want to let this, you know, you could do the whole thing in tan and then build on top of that. I think that there's, you know, there's black in nature, so there should be black in my camo. So we're gonna let this sit and dry for a few minutes and I'll come back to you guys when we do the next second coat of this tan and then we'll move through the other colors. So if you're enjoying the video, please give it a thumbs up. I hope that you consider subscribing. Become part of the family because as of this video, 75% of you guys are not subscribed and it would really help us out if you subscribe to the channel. And also don't forget to catch our live streams every Friday from 10 p.m. to You Say When here on YouTube and Facebook Live. We'll be back in just a minute. Okay, so as you guys can see from our base coat, we've got a pretty good start. I'm going to touch it up just a little bit more um, because, again, I don't want too much of the tan. Uh, I just want the tan to be the base for the other colors to, you know, stick to. So just, again, randomly just... Okay, and for now, put that one aside. Now what I like to do is while the paint is still tacky, go out in your yard and collect different size leaves. You can use sticks, you can use grass. Uh, these are gonna be your stencils for what comes next, or at least what I do next. Um, everybody's different. I'm sure everybody has their own ways and methods of doing this. This is what I came up with and I think it looked good enough for what I need to do. It breaks the pattern of the black rifle in the woods. So, you know, take the big one, put the big guy there, take this small one, lay it right across the scope so we can get pattern on there. Got this little guy here. And put him like this. Okay. And then what we'll do is we'll pick our next color, which will be, let's say, brown. Give him a good shake. And you can do green, you can do brown, whichever one you want. But what you're going to do now is you're going to spray over the leaves. really cool is when we move these leaves now I can 
do without messing them up. You end up with really cool patterns. And that's what we're looking for is these cool patterns, these breakups of a pattern because that's what makes you stand out when you're in the woods. Now, now the other thing I like to do, we did that up here, we gotta do some brown to the barrel. So really it's just, and that's really all I do. And then let that sit. We're done with, in my case, I'm pretty much done with the brown on that. As you guys can see, I got enough of it. So put that to the side. Then the next will be green. Now this green I go light on because it is a, it's a forest green, but it's, it's kind of a bright green. So, just enough, like I said, to change up the color, change up the pattern bring a different tone to the rifle um, and bring it to an earthier tone rather than just straight black so and again if you guys do this a different way to each his own because it's camo you know as long as you break up the pattern that's pretty much all that matters um, you know the military does theirs differently everybody does you know has their own pattern mossy oak has their own pattern reach real tree has their own pattern infantry has his own pattern so that's pretty much what we're doing is just, you know, breaking up the pattern. And then what I'll do is I'll go back and I'll let it dry and I'll take a look, see what it looks like, which I'm really digging it. I think it looks really good. Um, maybe put a little bit of darker green in certain areas. Right there. Maybe a little dark green right here. You know, and just pick where you want it. You know. It's like art, you know? Nothing says it's correct. So what I'll do now, I'll let this dry completely, flip it over, and repeat the process. I'm pretty much happy with this, guys. And what I'll do is I'll bring you in for a close-up of, of how this looks here so that you can take a look for yourself. Stay tuned.
Hey guys, it's the next day. The light and the weather just got the best of us. It was raining last night, got cold last night. As you can tell, I'm more bundled up today than I was yesterday. Um, but we got it done. And I actually wanted to start off by showing you this first rifle that I did right here, my Gamo Whisper. Um, I did this one first as a uh, tryout, you know. I wanted to do this one in case I screwed it up. I, <laughs> I knew what I was doing by the second one, but this one actually came out really, really good as well. And here I'll let you take a close up look at this rifle right here, the Gamma Whisper. Not bad for my first time doing a paint job, huh? All right, well, let's move on to the one we came here for, which is the Gamo Maxim 10 Shot, the Swarm. Now this is my favorite rifle and one that I actually use in my squirrel hunting videos, as you guys will see here. Um, but yeah, here it is. This is how it came out. And I think it came out great. Really good paint job. And I think it's really going to do the job that I need it to do. Blends in well with me. And over time, dirt and grime and everything else that gets on here will blend in with the weapon as well so that it's not so new. But let me give you your quick overview of the Gamma Swarm. All right, well, there they are in a side-by-side -side comparison. Which one did you like better or did you like them both? I think I did a pretty damn good job on both of these rifles, given my talents, given my abilities, and just being the first time doing it. Have you ever camoed a rifle? What would you have done differently? Have you done something different? Drop it in the comments below or remember to write to me at infantry at infantryoutdoors.com. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and make sure that you hit the subscribe button because as of this video, 72% of you guys are not subscribed. I don't know why, it's free to do. Just click the button, ring the bell, and you'll be notified each and every time we put out a video and do a live stream. Join us Friday nights at 10 p.m. here on YouTube for Infantry Outdoors Live. And until next time, I hope you guys enjoyed this product. Hope you enjoyed my camo paint job, my little one of a kind art pieces. But until then, I hope that this and all my adventures inspires you to get outdoors. Have an amazing day, everybody.